Hey there, it's Mandy from Designer Chameleon. Today I'm going to help you not to make the same mistake that I did if you are putting disc rings on your new planner. So this is my planner, well one of them for 2020. I'll actually have another video about all the different planners that I'm using this year because I am going into multi-planners. But I ordered this planner from Plum Paper Planner which is a tongue twister. Um, I am loving it. I just got into it. This is the very first week of January, so I'm just starting. But I didn't want to get it bound because I really love these discs that you can just peel your pages into and out of, and it makes it very modular and you can change things. So the idea of that really appealed to me, and they will sell you a planner without the binding. So I went ahead and ordered one. I got this gorgeous animal print cover, which I do love. And it says, perfection is the willingness to be imperfect, which I thought was a very perfect uh, slogan or, or reminder for my year. But then I fell in love with this marbleized cover from Jane's Agenda, so I ordered that. So I'll probably be going back and forth between this marble and then my animal print, depending on how I'm feeling any given day. Uh, they're both very cool covers. Um, also, the tabs and the cover from Jane's Agenda that I ordered doesn't completely fit exactly right. Um, that is probably my fault. I haven't actually looked to see if I ordered the wrong thing or what, but it still works and I still love it. But bottom line, when I went to punch my pages, I am one of those people that likes to follow the directions. I'm a bit of a perfectionist, obviously based on the cover that I chose, and I like to try and make everything look the way it's, quote, supposed to. So I grabbed my Happy Planner Punch, and there are these perfect little lines on the Happy Planner Punch that tell you where to line up your paper, which is all fine and good, if you're punching for the Happy Planner pages. But these pages, if you can see, are shorter than the Happy Planner pages, which I didn't think about or realize at the time that I punched them. So I went ahead and lined everything up with this bottom uh, line. I punched all the pages, excited as anything, not noticing that I had a huge margin on the bottom and a teeny tiny little margin on the top. So ultimately, is it the end of the world? No, uh, I can still use my planner. Uh, my pages still fit. I can still use these really gorgeous like aquamarine uh, sea glass looking discs that I found from Tool. Um, everything still works, but I do have this itty bitty margin where it's holding onto the paper at the top and a quite large margin at the bottom where uh, it probably should have been scooted on the punch. So the moral of the story today is if you are going to be binding your planner, uh, whatever kind you get, any kind of paper, just make sure that instead of solely going by the guides on whatever punch you use, that you line it up and then double check that you have within the little teeth in the punch, um, pretty equal distance from the top and the bottom so that you get a nice even binder and everything fits just a little bit nicer. So learn from my mistakes. Either way, I'm loving this planner. I'm super excited to get to spend the year in it. And if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more of my multiple planners that I'm using this year and how I'm going to be using them, they're all different kinds, please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.